All right, so you've seen Squarespace ads everywhere. Many big influencers on YouTube have videos sponsored by Squarespace. But just because something is popular doesn't necessarily mean it's good. So in today's video, I wanna answer the question, can you really make a good website with Squarespace? This video is not sponsored by Squarespace, but it is sponsored by Marketer Hire. Get helped by expert marketers on a flexible basis. More on that later. I've talked before about how Squarespace is a great DIY website builder, but you end up with a cookie cutter looking website. Things like a black and white color scheme, generic looking fonts, and the same elements used on so many websites. This is a great starting point if you're new to building websites, but you might be wondering if Squarespace is really flexible enough for your needs. If you wanna break out of that cookie cutter mold and build a beautiful, brand specific, rich looking website that fits your brand and doesn't look black and white and doesn't use the default fonts, can you really do that with Squarespace? I'll answer the question right away, yes, you absolutely can make beautiful looking websites in Squarespace. Check it out, I've got some examples right here. Here we have the Bathhouse website. I love their use of a looping video right here in their hero section. It does still look a bit Squarespace-y to me, a little bit cookie cutter, but I can tell that they did put in the work to start customizing it and making it their own. Next we have this Jones Barbecue website. I love what they've done with the font and the buttons. Just changing out the font, the buttons, and the colors make this look unique they made it their own. This does not even look like a Squarespace website to me. Next, we have Keynest. I really like what Keynest has done with the call to action here. It's fillable. That's something unique that I'm not used to seeing on a Squarespace website. They also have gone above and beyond with this hero section. You can hover your mouse over the different sections. It's interactive. The page feels good. You know, we got the testimonial slider here. These are elements that I'm not used to seeing in the average Squarespace website. And last up, we have Marcus Erickson's site. Marcus is a photographer. This is a portfolio site with his work. Really, truly unique. When I move my mouse around, the pictures kind of interact as I scroll. Um, it's definitely a little bit glitchy, I think, because I'm screen recording. It was a little bit smoother earlier when I tried it out, but I mean, as you can see, this is just a very unique website. If I go to about, we have the rotating colors here on the text, or even if I go to index, we just have this very unique wheel when I hover over stuff. I mean, this just blows my mind with Squarespace. So yes, you can absolutely make a beautiful, brand specific, rich website with Squarespace. But for some reason, that's not the norm. Almost all the Squarespace websites I see are cookie cutter, they have a black and white color scheme, they use default fonts, and it's got me wondering, are people really just too lazy to customize their Squarespace website? Or is there another reason for this? Is it difficult to customize Squarespace? Is it practical? Is it rocket science? I really want to get to the bottom of how flexible is Squarespace for building a beautiful website like these ones I just showed you. The catch to Squarespace is that in order to build these beautiful brand specific pages, it takes a lot of trial and error and what I call hacking. Now you're not really hacking anything, but hacking is a term used in web design when you have to get creative and find different workarounds to limitations in website builders. To give you a better feel for the Squarespace editor, I'm gonna build a page in real time while telling you about today's sponsor, Marketer Hire. So I'm here in the Squarespace editor and I have the Marketer Hire logo. I wish I could shrink it a little bit, but there's no such option. Squarespace is drag and drop, but if I go into the little pencil icon here and design, it's just not having it. I know I can make the image smaller, but it's really difficult to find, but that's okay. Let's just leave the logo as is, and let's work on our first heading, which is get helped. That's because Marketer Hire allows you to get helped by expert marketers on a flexible basis. You don't actually need to hire anyone. They're gonna help you find a freelancer who's a fit for your business. I'm sure you're busy. I'm sure you've got a lot going on, and Marketer Hire wants to make it easy for you to get the help that you need. So we got our first heading. Um, you know, I can drag this heading around. It's a little bit difficult 
to, you know, even if I wanna change the font, I'm not able to do that here. I can do bold or italics, but to actually change the font, I have to go to another section of Squarespace. That's never quite made sense to me. And I think that's why we're seeing a lot of these cookie cutter pages. Okay, you know, let's leave this Right here, we have our second heading, which is only the best. That's because Marketer Hire brings on only the world's best marketing freelancers. They have a less than 4% acceptance rate, which is more exclusive than Harvard. Maybe I want to put this above the heading. That would be goofy. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe below the heading like that. Can space it out. Um, but again, like how would I resize this, this text box? How would I? make this smaller. I mean, we got a spacer over here. It, it's almost like Squarespace needs to be all in on their editor, but marketer hire is all in. They're gonna do whatever is necessary to make sure that your business gets the right expertise and the marketing help that it needs. It's also risk-free. There is free rematching. So that way, if you're connected with someone, you try it, you're not feeling it, marketer hire will find you the right person for free and they will let you try different marketers until you find the right one for your business. I wanna see if I can do something more interactive with Squarespace, because everything we're seeing here is just text on a page, kind of bland. I'm looking for one of those accordion controls. So this is sort of like an FAQ control. Um, it looks like it's not working or it's, it's not interactive in the editor but maybe we'll do steps to get started. Step one is to identify your marketing challenge and speak with their growth managers. Step two is to meet your perfect marketer. Step three is to start seeing results fast. So definitely consider Marketer Hire if you need some extra marketing help with your business. Thanks to Marketer Hire for sponsoring today's video, and you can try Marketer Hire using my link at marketerhire.com slash crayler. So as you can see, it's easy to build a generic looking page in Squarespace. And if that's what you're after, Squarespace is gonna be right for you. I do believe Squarespace is very beginner friendly. It's easy to go in there, type your changes, drag stuff around, but the level of customization available on the page editor is very slim. If I wanna change a font in a specific paragraph, can't do that easily. If I wanna change a button color to be outside of the default colors for the website, can't do that easily. I can change fonts and primary colors and other design items under the design tab of Squarespace, but those options are global. So if I change the font in the design tab, it changes the font for the entire website. If you wanna differentiate yourself, and I think any marketer would tell you that your brand needs to stand out, it needs to feel like you, this is where Squarespace becomes difficult. And this is where the hacks get introduced. If I wanna change a font of a specific paragraph, I have to actually go into the CSS section of Squarespace, target that specific element, and use CSS code to change the font for that one spot. The story is the same for button styling and just different little things within Squarespace. Now, one thing to take note of is that the grass is not necessarily greener elsewhere. You have some of these problems with Wix and WordPress and other popular website builders on the market. Wix is generally better for being able to customize everything down to the exact pixel. You have more freedom to move a button exactly where you want it on the page. You can change fonts for specific paragraphs without having to get into CSS or code or hacks or any of that. But Wix has its own limitations, especially with backend functionality. If you wanna do something dynamic, like have a little forum community within your website, well, Wix or Squarespace aren't really gonna be great for that. That's when you would need a more powerful website builder like WordPress. But I will say, WordPress is sort of built entirely on hacks. If you install WordPress today, you don't add any third-party plugins to the mix, WordPress is a blogging platform. You have to start installing third-party plugins and a theme and all these things on top of stock WordPress to really have a quality drag and drop page building experience. The grass is not necessarily greener with other website builders. 
So is Squarespace worth the hype and praise? Well, I personally maintain that Squarespace is the best website builder for DIY use if you're not super tech savvy. If you're just looking for something where you can drag and drop elements on the page and get a clean, minimal looking website, Squarespace is for you. However, if you're more of a designer or you have a vision for your website and you have certain brand colors and aesthetics and visuals that you're looking to implement in your website, I would stay away from Squarespace. I think you're gonna have better luck with Wix if you need a simple drag and drop editor that's highly customizable, or WordPress if you're willing to get over the learning curve and invest the time to make a really powerful, rich website. I've seen many WordPress sites that look great. It's a very powerful website builder, and it's not gonna have the same limitations that Squarespace has. So what do you think of Squarespace? Definitely be sure to let me know in a comment down below. And after you've built your beautiful, amazing looking website, you definitely wanna check out Marketer Hire for your business. Thanks to Marketer Hire for sponsoring this video. And you can try Marketer Hire out at marketerhire.com slash With that said, I will catch you guys next time.